But we want to state that unlike what was obtainable in the past, where, of course, the president wakes up, brought somebody who was a retired colonel, you know, eating two in his farm to come and aid the Nigerian Customs Service for eight years, you know, we saw the implication of that, especially on the morale of, you know, men of officers of the customs when Colonel Ali Edsway as the Controller General. But we are glad that President Tinubu has corrected such anomaly by ensuring that appointment into such organizations are made from within the organizations, especially appointing those who have risen through the ranks to become qualified to be appointed into sub positions. We have seen such also in the immigration service. We have seen in the fact that for the first time, the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps had the leadership that rose from the rank to the controller general position. We believe this approach can lead to a more stable and effective security system and ensures that individuals with years of experience and institutional knowledge are entrusted with leadership role. And we believe that this will eliminate political interference and ensure leadership positions are filled based on merit and competence rather than political consideration. We also want to draw his attention that uh, he should also consider uh, 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 consider people from the south, south and south east in uh, also making them feel to have this sense of belonging in the nationhood of this country so that they can also bring out the best in such in, in such uh, regions to also serve the interests of the nation. So we're looking at areas of the paramilitary and the anti-graft agencies that are very, very important in this nation. You see, the anti-graft is very important because no matter whoever occupies the position in any ministerial or any appointment, if such agencies or individuals are not being checkmated by the anti-graft agencies, you know, we will still be going back to where we were coming from, where we said we were celebrating corruption. <coughs> so we're appealing to Mr. President to really look inward and listen to us who are the eyes of the people to, to consider people from the South, South and South East for this major appointment that will really make him feel, you know, that he has done so much for this nation.